We're going to wait another minute or two to see if Councilman, Councilperson Elizabeth Beck is available to make a few words about the city and this project. Good evening. The pre presentation for the Carroll Street and 5th Street projects is about to begin. We have two projects in the Linwood area just north of West 7th Street. Oh. West... Good evening. Welcome. And this project, we have two projects called Carroll Street and Mamaronek Street. And the 2nd project that I'll be going over is the 5th street. From Carroll street to the railroad. Also known as a project that just north of Montgomery Plaza. Both these projects are storm drain pipe rehabilitation improvement projects. This evening. I'll be presenting this. Presentation, my name is Fred Ayler. And, um, we also have the design engineer. Rodrigo Viscario with HDR Incorporated as well in this presentation. The storm drain rehabilitation program is relatively new to the city. It's been around for a few years, and our main purpose is to proactively maintain aging storm drain pipes and prolong their service life. We have investigated historical pipe failures looked at the pipe ages, and based on institutional knowledge from our operations and maintenance personnel, we've compiled a list of projects that need attention in the near future. We prioritize these projects based on using closed circuit TV inspections inside these storm drain pipes, which are under the streets. We reviewed videos for various pipe defects. And at this point, we prioritized several pipes for rehabilitation. Our goal for the rehabilitation is to utilize trenchless technologies for repairs. Some common methods to do trenchless repairs to in-ground existing pipes is cured in place pipe, geopolymer pipelining, and pipe bursting. We've identified these two pipes on the sheet, on the map on the left, as a blue pipe and a red pipe. The blue pipe is the Carol Marinek pipes, which are named after the streets that the pipes are under. The fifth street pipe is actually in a public access easement going from Carroll Boulevard and behind Montgomery Plaza towards the railroad tracks. The photo near the center of the screen is the Carol Mamernick pipe condition. It has some cracks and needs attention. The fifth street pipe is a larger pipe that also has similar defects. The design engineer is HDR, and most of the pipe rehabilitation will be done using a trenchless method. There may be a situation where we might have to excavate to repair any special areas that need attention, and we call those point repairs. For Carroll Street and Mamaronek Street, construction is expected to start in the summer of 2022, last about 10 months, and cost about $650,000. In this project, will be located within the city's right of way. As shown before, the pipe is identified in blue. We have three manholes that are in line with the pipes. During construction, some of these manholes 
will be access to, to help construct the trenchless rehabilitation of the pipes. The other project we're working on is the 5th Street from Carroll Street to the railroad. HDR once again is the design engineer. On this project, there will be excavation because of a proposed intermediate manhole that we determined is needed. Construction is expected to start in early winter 2022, lasts about 10 months and costs about $2 million. This project is in a city easement. So 5th Street goes from roughly the center of Carroll Street, 5th Street intersection to just about shy of the railroad. There'll be two staging areas, one on the east side near the railroad, one on the west side near Carroll Street. Staging area is gonna help the contractor use equipment and get access to the manholes in a timely manner. And we're gonna be constructing the manhole somewhere between the interior intersection of this retail development between Wells Fargo Bank on the west and Chick-fil-A on the east. We are going to be taking into consideration when we look at traffic considerations to ensure that we minimize the impact to the businesses in this area, especially like drive throughs for Chick fil A, because. Does anybody have any questions at this time? Um, I do. Can you hear me? Yes, I do. Okay, so um, I I was wanting to ask how will this impact our um, Merrimack residents? Like, what can we? Well, what can I tell them to? Um, what to expect? You said ten months. So, how will this impact them? Um, we haven't really gone through a high. We we only took a. There will be some traffic impact on it, but we haven't got to that level of detail yet of okay. determining how much um, inconvenience that will have to the residents. Okay. And so we can just keep in contact and I can kind of prepare them as we go along. Yes. Okay. And by okay. the way, this is one of a few meetings that we'll be having on this project. Okay. This is kind of like the kickoff meeting for, for both projects. Okay, and we'll have another meeting when our design plans are pretty much finalized and okay. the most likely will be a meeting before construction begins. Okay, perfect. Thank you. And and Stacy, um, this is Linda it. 1 of the reasons that we're using this trenchless technology is to try to minimize disruption. Uh, to residents and businesses and the traveling public. And while we will have to um, have some lane closings mm -hmm. and so forth, we just don't know what those are yet. Okay. We're going to be, you know, basically kind of working from manhole to manhole, and it's not going to be one of the larger excavation projects that you may have seen around the city. Okay. So. Um, Fred, Margaret DeMoss here. Um, could you go over those dates again? Uh, you said they're gonna both take about 20 months and I was taking notes spring of 2022 and early winter. What does that mean? Is early winter starting November of 2022 or January 2022? Okay, I'll get to that slide. Okay. Winter 2022, our best estimate at this time would probably fall early December of 2022. Thanks. Do you need the the approximate month for the other project as well? Sure, uh, sure. Summer 2022 is likely to be uh, June, July, around the June, July part of 2022.
Fred and, and Linda, if I may, uh, this is Rodrigo Vizcaino with HDR. Um, on uh, Stacy uh, question about the manholes um, and the lane closures, what our traffic engineers have estimated is that we don't need to close down the entire street for access to the manholes. There will be lanes open for access of, of traffic. Uh, so it'll it'll be a matter of coordinating with a contractor to to always keep at least one lane open for traffic flow uh, for both of those manholes that will be accessed on Carroll and Merrimack. Thank you. Any further questions? Any further questions? I, actually, I do. Um, you said maybe further me, uh, future meetings. Are we looking at months down so I can prepare? Like um, the next meeting will be when we have most of the design plans complete on the Carol Mamaronek Street. We just got to the 30% threshold on plans as of right before this meeting. So it's taken us several months to get there. So we're the next possible time of meetings most likely will be um, early next year. Okay. And you said in a couple of days, this will, um, I'll be able to share it with everybody. Yes, that, that, that's what Jeff Allen was mentioning earlier on. Okay, perfect. And Fred, could you or Jeff repeat that information for everybody? Yes, most certainly. This uh, presentation is being recorded um, in a few days, sometime next week. They'll be available um, by looking at, I guess, the community development uh, community department uh, will have it available for residents to view uh, this presentation. So it'll be um, we'll post it on our city's YouTube channel, um, and it'll be, I I don't think I've created a project page for this yet since we're so early, but um, it'll be on there as well. Um, but Stacy, I'll just I can just email it to you. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah, uh, Margaret, I can email it to you too if um, if you want to share it. Perfect. Thank you. You bet. So that'll probably be um, maybe either tomorrow afternoon or Monday when I have it. It just depends on how long they it takes to get it loaded onto YouTube. So. That's great. Thank you. <laughs> Any additional questions? This, this is Margaret. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm in looking at this map. Um, the red, the fifth street project stops at the railroad. Um, is there uh, are there future plans or are there issues uh, east of the railroad where wherever that that must connect somewhere? Um, yes, that pipe is a pretty large pipe. One can actually walk in that pipe. It's, it's a little shy of six feet tall. It's an arch pipe and it continues all the way to the Trinity River. So it roughly follows the alignment of 5th Street on the other side of the railroad tracks. The pipe that we're working on just north of Montgomery Plaza happens to be the neediest pipe that needs needs attention. And so that's why we're handling that pipe within a couple months gap of the Merrimack Carroll 
pipe segment. Have there been any tests done on the eastern portion of that? I mean, I ask that because I know that when we first moved into Montgomery Plaza 15, 14, whenever it was years ago, um, there were a lot of problems with the, the, the old infrastructure uh, during the construction, a reconstruction of this building and issues with sewer gas odor and you know all kinds of nastiness that were emanating, I think, out of this this pipe that we're talking about. And we we don't know right at this time if that pipe has been CCTV, if it has been investigated, but we um, will talk with the group that is doing that and we will get back to you on that. But um, tonight, we don't know if they've investigated it yet. Okay, thank you. Any other questions? Does anybody have any further questions for the group? Well, without any further questions, we may be able to conclude this meeting. I want to thank those who are in attendance this meeting. We value your input and as Linda Young stated, we will investigate uh, these questions further and get back to the people who required about um, the other things around this area for storm drain. Thank you very much for attending this meeting. Once again, my name is Fred Ayler. I'm the project manager for both the Carol Mamernek Street Projects as well as the Fifth Street Projects. If you have any further questions, you can contact me. We're apologize for that. That's my contact information. Well, thank you so much. You're welcome. Yeah. We'll um, see you in a couple of months. <laughs> thank you, Stacy, for um, asking some really good questions. We appreciate it. You're welcome. And I'll I'll, I'll um, communicate more with the residents, and we'll get everybody's questions. And if everybody, well, if some can't attend, then I'll I'll have some questions for them. But yeah, we look forward to this. Well, thank thank you, you, everybody. Thank you. Have a good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.